this is uh, the beginning of it. It's going to be really crazy. So, so as you see, I'm uh, going to put a lot of shading into it. I'm going to take a lot of the comic element. The comic elementation out of it is not going to be so uh, comic-like. And since it's fun and whimsical and uh, fanatical and in, 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 uh, compared to our, like, cookie boredom life, <laughs> it's already super interesting. So my job will be to make it look as real as possible in its fanatical nature. Because this, I mean, what the hell, like, it's not uh, something that seems like it should be natural. But it's, uh, I'm going to make it look natural. But check out this angle. I had to sculpt the hammer. I'm so picky. I'm just like, man, I got to go sculpt this motherfucker just to get the angle right. But look at the dynamicness. I can play around with the uh, how dynamic I want it to be. That's a good angle right there. That's too flat. That's like, I'm coming at you. Nice. Something that I did want to say, though. <laughs> when I was a kid, I think I remember her. When I was a kid, uh, my brother. Now, remember that story I told you about that Hawaiian girl that got all fucking horrible and shit and started being a huge bitch. At first, she was real nice. And I was like, oh, you're really nice. But then she turned and fucked up. And I was like, ah, get out of here, right? So uh, I'm just fortunate that uh, somebody that is like this is able to uh, to bestow something that is not a degradation within uh, a layman society of uh, insecurities. Like being somebody that's the only beautiful one around and it kind of like doesn't work out for you because you take it wrong. Kind of like the Hawaiian girl. I don't know. You understand where I'm getting at here. Well, anyways, when I was a kid, again, I had a different situation that happened. And uh, now I know my family were total shills. Not even beyond. I, I know my brothers were too now. Because uh, remember that uh, It's Raining Again video when a dude seen her as a kid? And uh, I was about 10 or 11. And we were playing hide and go seek around the house. And it's like the more I sun gaze, the more... The more I'm remembering my life, it's super weird. It's, it's I feel like they were there the whole time, and I just was not aware. But uh, when I was a kid, about 11 years old, we were playing hide and go seek, and uh, this girl that looked a lot like her had a beauty mark right here, and her hair was just kind of up in some thing. I remember, and her hair wasn't completely blonde; it was almost like dirty blonde. But maybe that's the Maybe that's the exception. Maybe this is all in my mind. Maybe that's not what I think. But uh, this girl, okay, she appeared. She was in our yard, all right? She was around the corner of the house, okay? She was hanging out with my brother, and she came out of nowhere, all right? This girl was not in the neighborhood. She was not anybody that anybody knew. She wasn't anybody who lived in the neighborhood. I seen everybody that comes and go. We're outside playing. I seen the Hawaiian girl when she moved up the street from us. So who the fuck was this girl, bro? I was like, it's all coming back to me because I remember we were playing high and go seek and this girl was fucking pretty and a motherfucker. Like we was like 10 or 11 and uh, my brother standing there with her and he was like trying to, he was like kissing on her and stuff. And I was like, uh, I said, man, I said, man, what you doing? Man, can I get a kiss too? Who are you? Like, uh, I was freaking out. Like, uh, and that's what made me think like there's something up with that kid because after that day, I'd never seen her again. And I kept asking him, who was that girl that you was kissing when we were running around the corner looking for you high and go seek? And uh, he wouldn't tell me. And now I realized that these shills, they come in here with this perception and uh, they're like on this perpetual, uh, like certain level of like, uh, like electrical perception where they can see and have a tangible relationship. And uh, these beings, they're like ultra nice. So they're like con unconditional loving and they want people to be loving and shit. So they they don't fight fire with fire. They like fight. They they kill it with kindness and love and shit. You understand? They kill evil with love. So 
when I seen them together, it makes sense now, but I probably wouldn't have understood that if I had known what I was seeing back then without knowing how they are or whatever. But, uh, man, I remember now that my brother, my second to oldest, because uh, I was I was brought into their family and they were nothing but masons and witches. And my mom was murdered. So they took me in because his wife was her sister. So they were like, oh, we got to take care of you. We're going to be there to take care of you. We're fucking. And I'm like, you know, I'm a fucking newborn kid. I don't know shit about it. But as I was growing up, every mason and everybody that's in that club can see them. And they engage in some kind of friendship on whatever level friendship they can create. Uh, my understanding is as soon as they start eating children, they take off. They don't want nothing to do with it. That's from what I understand. And then it, the, the, to make fun of them, they call them this runaway thing. And that's why you're seeing all these runaway songs and uh, from the 80s now to now in hip hop, rock and roll, everywhere, everywhere is runaway something, runaway bride in the movie theater. Like it's just runaway, runaway. So uh, uh, these entities, these people, man, they're real sick. But uh, the fact that my so-called brother was kissing on this girl now makes me realize that's why he told me what he said. Um, recently when I was passing on the brochure, she says, what are you doing? Trying to start a cult, man. This is stupid. All this stuff he was saying. I'm like, what are you talking about, man? Start a cult. Then, uh, later on, he tries to get me to be more serious about being a famous artist. You know, you throwing your life away. You could have been famous. You could have been a famous artist and you know, you should be rich by now. I was like, man, dude, you got to be in this fucking elite club to get rich in this. You got to sell your soul. You know what I mean? And all this, that's how you do it. And I'm not doing it. And uh, he's like, no, nah, man, it ain't for real. And just being a bullshit artist about it. Well, anyways, he was one of my brothers that made fun of me my whole life. Kind of makes sense now. But when I told him that I was going to do this Goku Superman thing, he started to make fun of me. And he says, man, that's some stupid shit, man. You ain't going to do that. And I said, man, I've known you all my life. You got to know that I know something. If I'm telling you seriously that I'm going to do this. And uh, he should at least have some kind of like questionable, like, man, my brother's not insane. Maybe he really might have some. This motherfucker completely was like, nah, man, I don't, nah, that's stupid, blah, blah, blah. And I said, well, when I start flying over buildings, don't go saying that's my brother because you're going to be trying to get some ass out of it for sure. And he's like, man, when you do turn into Superman, I won't support you. And then I was like, okay, you're a show. So these are, these are my family members. I grew up with these people, man unbelievable but i remember he had access because i remember that girl it was a fucking we're like 10 and 11 she shows up as a kid bro and her hair was up in this little thing i remember man and she came out of fucking nowhere like i ain't see her leave the yard we went running around and she wasn't there no more where the fuck happened see what i'm saying it's like this shit is all coming back to me now i wonder what else uh, I don't remember. It's so weird. It's like it's starting to come back to me. But uh, I better get onto this uh, painting, get back to it. I'm really excited. I wanted to show you all some stage progress here and tell you that story because it was burning in my brain when I got up this morning. I was like, you got to be kidding me. There's no fucking way that little girl was Hollywood or something. This is no fucking way. I remember that video. She shapes us. I fucking remember See what I'm saying? This shit crazy. <laughs> this shit is crazy. Like, uh, like I can't make up stories like these and be detailed and 